Let us find the domain of the function square root of log of x square minus 6x plus 6. Now we know that square root of negative quantity is undefined. Therefore, domain is the set of all real number x such that log of x square minus 6x plus x, oh sorry, plus 6 is greater than 0. In other words, x square minus 6x plus 6 is greater than 1. Now, when is it that x square minus 6x plus 6 is greater than 1? That is true if x square minus 6x plus 5 is greater than 0. Now, you see, you can factorize x square minus 6x plus 5 because this can be written as x square minus 5x minus x plus 5. And we take x common and you are left out with x minus 5. And here we can take minus 1 common again left out with x minus 5. So, x minus 1, x minus 1 whole thing into x minus 5 is greater than 0. Now, when is it that um, x minus 1 in the, into x minus 5 is greater than 0? Obviously, uh, it is possible. Now, x minus 5 into x minus 1 is greater than 0. This is possible if x is greater than 5 because this quantity will remain positive and this quantity will remain also remain positive. Or if, if I take any real number x that lie between 1 and 5, this quantity will be negative, uh, this will be positive. So, I cannot take any number that is lying between 1 and 5. But if I take x less than 1, then this is a negative and this is also negative and negative into negative is positive. Therefore, domain of the function fx equal to square root of log of x squared minus 6x plus 6 is the set of all real number x, the set of all real number x, such that Either x is greater than 5, either x is greater than 5, five or less than 1, which can be written as x such that x is a real number. comma x is greater than 5 or x is less than 1. Of course, it can also be written in the in form of interval uh, minus infinity to 1 union 5 to infinity.